Hi everybody, Warren Woodward here. I've got some new evidence that proves smart meters adversely affect the human heart. In this video, you're going to see me connected to an EKG monitor while resting near an Elster smart meter of the type that APS uses here in Arizona. While there is cellular telecommunication coverage here in this rural location, it's low intensity and there are no other sources of EMF in the vicinity. Electric power to the bedroom where I rest is off at the breaker panel. Power to the smart meter is going to be controlled outside of my sight and hearing such that I won't know when the smart meter is activated. Of course, I wouldn't know how to manipulate my heart rhythm anyway, but these steps are being taken to ensure a proper test. For the record, I am not on medication of any sort, nor do I have a heart condition or any history of one. Yet when the smart meter transmits, the EKG is going to show that my heart rhythm is interrupted. When you look at the results of the EKG, I think you're going to be amazed and startled. This video shifts the debate from whether anyone should have to pay a fee to refuse a smart meter to when does the safety recall start. I want to introduce Paul Harding of Total EMF Solutions. Paul's here to explain to us um, just what all this equipment of his is and, and what it does. Thanks, Warren. So uh, right here you're, you're watching a laptop that has a program on it uh, where we uh, connected an EKG to you and we we're able to monitor it li live uh, while monitoring a, a high frequency analyzer. Uh, this is from Gigahertz Solutions and a NFA 400 which recorded what the high frequency analyzer was measuring in free space. So we can go back and look at data from the recording on the RF and data that we've rec collected from the EKG and correlate it with uh, times where your heart was not doing so well as we can see right here. So what you're saying is this is the normal heartbeat and then the transmissions was here where it was all messed up mm -hmm. and this Gigahertz Solutions HF59B uh, picked up the microwave signal and recorded that signal here and then because you have the signal recorded you can juxtapose it with this and know that in fact that's correct that's when it was yeah correct and we yeah. saw that happen quite a few times well, thanks, Paul. My pleasure. I'd like to introduce Dr. Gilberto Leon, and the doctor's here to explain to us what this EKG strip represents. Doctor? Yes, thank you, Warren. Uh, what we have here is a normal heart rhythm. You have your character characteristic uh, waves. P is that little, if you can see by my finger, a little uh, upward and then the Q is down, and then the R, and then the S, and then the T. P, Q, R, S, T. This represents the electrical activity of the heart and what's happening with the calcium, the potassium, the sodium, all that it takes for the heart muscle to work. And so this measures the electrical activity of the heart. So if we're asking the question, the, the, the frequencies from a smart meter have an effect on uh, myocardial function, and what we see here is a great disruption in activity when the heart would normally be resting down here all of a sudden there's a massive change in the pattern here and over time you know what is that doing to the heart the heart is having to work 
harder and the patient may not feel such a change. Um, if they are compromised, a cardiac patient, they have a pacemaker, stents, uh, who knows, but um, this is not a good thing because it silently makes our heart to work too hard and so you have a fatigue in time with cardiac function. Thanks, Doctor. I would think that, you know, for anybody, even a healthy person, over time you're going to have a, a, you know, maybe a chronic issue here uh, because of the stress, right? Indeed. It's an unnatural sequence of events that we're just not programmed to uh, respond to. It's just unnatural. Thanks, Doctor. You're welcome. Now, some people might ask, who sleeps right next to a smart meter? Actually, a lot of people do. And some people in apartments sleep next to entire banks of them. I know some people whose health has been shattered that way. And it's not just sleeping. Some people live, work, play, cook, do laundry, whatever, next to these things. But the more important point here is that we've been told repeatedly by utilities and utility regulators that these things are safe and have absolutely no effect on anyone. Those of us who know better have been ridiculed and ignored, but we've been right all along, and this video proves it. Smart meters are affecting everyone's health. Even if people are not showing symptoms, their bodies are being unnecessarily and involuntarily stressed by smart meters. There must be a complete safety recall of all smart meters now.